Hi, this is Tracy H. Dean. I want to thank you for joining me today for another daily energy and guidance reading. This will be for Friday, May the 29th, although I consider this timeless. So whenever you see this reading is when you're meant to hear the message. I'm using the beautiful Nature's Whispers cards, uh, Oracle cards by Angela Hartfield and Josephine Wall. And I can't say enough about this artwork work. It is breathtaking. <laughs> and you may use this as a pick a card reading one two or three or a blended reading with all three cards as i shuffle the deck i'm asking all light beings angels and god please relay the message i need to share with my viewers the highest good of all and for the first card i'm going to take a card from the top second card i'll take a card from the center whoops we got two of them well you know what i'll take these two they wanted to come out so be it. Spirit wants us to know these two cards and their messages. Okay, so card number one. And this is card 17 in the deck. Infinite blessings. And this is a truly amazing energy coming from this card. It is just so peaceful. And I love the snowflakes. Okay. And there's a church down here in a little town. And it looks like it's winter. And what I'm getting from spirit is some of you may have been feeling like you're in the winter of your lives where nothing is changing. Things are stagnant. Nothing seems to be happening. And we all go through seasons in our life. Okay. I felt like I was in the winter of my life for the past year and things are starting to finally open up for me. And this card here, this infinite blessings, open your heart. And your reality to the immeasurable gifts from nature. Loving energy is surrounding you. Love from the highest level is being showered onto you and your life. Count your blessings and remember that love is all around you. Notice these miracles and blessings as they show up in unexpected ways, but always at the most auspicious time. Your life may not be exactly as you anticipated, but be sure to look for your miracles. So things are about to change. Okay. This is telling me that, you know, blessings are going to be showered down upon you. For the longest time, things, like I said, have been dormant and stagnant. And a lot of uh, challenges uh, that I've been facing since last June that I'm finally overcoming, I realized that they were all blessings, even though they were extremely painful. And I won't go into detail on here because I'm not looking for anyone's sympathy, but I just want you to know that I've overcome a lot within the last year. And by going through those painful lessons, I'm thankful now. But when they were happening, I just couldn't understand why. But you eventually find out why. And they lead to something better in your life. So you're about to have these infinite blessings appear. But be aware of the signs and synchronicities so you don't miss out on them. And then the second card, which is card number 14 in this deck, is Assurance. And I love this tree. Green is my favorite color because it is the color of nature. And the green in this card is just breathtaking. Remain steady and be assured you are doing exactly what you're supposed to do. You might be seeing small signs that things, situations, and desires are just beginning to fall into place. Your focus and skills are intact. You will feel motivated in work areas and therefore make good inroads on your usual work. New ways of dealing with things will occur to you. Fresh perspectives will appear. And as a result, your life will move forward with harmony and balance. Trust yourself. You have everything you need. So things are really opening up. So we had to go through that dormant period in order to gain this wisdom and knowledge. Because now we're going to use these things to make our lives better. If you didn't go through all of that pain, okay, you wouldn't have evolved to this point. You wouldn't have grown. And this is telling you that, you know, your success is assured. Okay, these blessings are coming. And this tree here is, it looks like it's bearing fruit. There's either blossoms or fruit on this tree. Uh, the image is dark, but like, this is abundance. This is the tree of life. I mean, this is flourishing. And it looks like there was winter here. Okay, on this side of the tree. And how interesting that is because we have the winter scene here too. Okay. And we've left the winter season. And look at 
it goes from winter into spring and things are blossoming. Okay, things were dead and gone. Yeah, look, at this is like the fall and this is the winter. Okay, and this is the spring and summer. So we're moving this way. She's not looking, you know, at the winter. She's facing the side of the tree that is reflecting the blossoms and things that are going to bear fruit in her life. And these things are about to blossom for you as well. And then the last card, the third card, which is card 13. Oh, we have this beautiful baby fairy sleeping at the base of this tree. And we have these animals protecting. Okay, it looks like a, a porcupine. And we have a, a, this looks like it could be like a field mouse, maybe. We have the frog, the squirrel, the bird. And look at that baby sleeping so soundly. And this is card 13, Renewal of Peace. And isn't it the picture of peace? This is so serene. It's just so beautiful. It's important to me maintain peace with all aspects of your life. Mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual inner imbalances can often manifest in your daily life. I mean, doesn't it just take one thing going wrong to throw us off balance? And it seems like we start clinging towards that negative thing that happened. And we forget all about the blessings and positive things that we should be focusing on. And, you know, there's so many things, even people that could throw us off balance with their negativity and their complaining. Okay. And this card's telling you to make time to take care of yourself. Okay. Because there's so many things that could throw us off each day. So many stressors out there and so many triggers. It doesn't matter whether or not your imbalance is a negative one. Being optimistic to the point of believing yourself to be invincible can also lead to challenges. So, I mean, we don't want to get too courageous. We want to be positive. We want to believe in ourselves, but you don't want to go overboard. You know, we need to stay in balance. Okay. You know, some people are, you know, have very high highs and very low lows, and we all go through that. It's a constant challenge every day for most of us. This is telling us that there's something in our life that we need to balance out, whether it be our emotions, whether it be our desires and goals. You know, we don't want to overextend ourselves. We want to, you know, believe that we're going to achieve what we need to achieve, but not overshoot. Balance is the is best achieved through listening to your body too. And I've learned my lesson with this. I mean, I think many times I could have been hospitalized for exhaustion because I'm the kind of person that will push myself to work to exhaustion. And that is not the way to achieve your goals or to live your life. Because what happens when you get sick from that, you're not going to be any good to yourself or anybody. Take time for yourself. Allow your inner power to heal and return to being peace-filled. So like if you're feeling exhausted and drained, take a time out for yourself. You don't need to gain anyone's permission to do that. That's not being lazy. That's being smart. Self-care is so important. And you got to pay attention to your body. When your body is telling you to stop, to take a break, it's important to listen to that before it turns into something worse because too much stress can start to manifest in the body as terminal illnesses. And I'm just trying to be upfront and honest with you. I'm not trying to scare anyone, but truly, I mean, you may be on the road to ruin if you keep on pushing your body to exhaustion like I did. And you need to have some downtime to, to heal your body. And when we're at rest, that's when our entire body heals itself. Our hair, our skin, our nails, our, our molecules, you know, everything in our brain, our chemicals in the brain rebalance itself. But, you know, when you're not getting enough rest and your body is not allowing that downtime to maintain itself, it's, it's like driving your car and never taking it in for an oil change or servicing. Sooner or later, it's going to break down. And that's how our body is. So someone out there needs to take it easy, needs to take a time out, needs to rest and recuperate and recharge. And this is going to make you stronger. What a beautiful reading today. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.